Today we honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but Republicans say many of the policies from the far left are dividing America. Dr. King's niece, Alveda King, joins us now. And Alveda, we just want to point out that at the Martin Luther King Memorial here in Washington, D.C., your cousin, Martin Luther King III, just laid a wreath in honor of his father and your uncle. And I'm wondering, on this day when we honor MLK's life and legacy, what are you thinking? John, it's good to greet you and to take that particular question on the celebration of the birthday of Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr., my uncle, and my cousins are celebrating mm -hmm. in their own way his children. He and Mrs. Coretta Scott King had four children, mm -hmm. and three of them are still living. For me, I think it's very important to celebrate the ministry of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Many people forget that he was a preacher and a prophet. So it is appropriate to celebrate those things he believed in. Yeah. Human kindness, human dignity, the sanctity of life, learning to live together as brothers, and I'll add as sisters, and not perish together as fools. Mm. Some of his messages were about faith, hope, and love. So I remember him as a preacher and a prophet even before he was that very great civil rights leader that we know today. You know, MLK once said, hate paralyzes life, love releases it, hatred confuses life, love harmonizes it, hatred darkens life, love illuminates it. Yet you believe that there's too much division in this country these days and people aren't listening to those words. There is so much division and it breeds hatred, confusion and yeah. fear. Whether or not we are arguing who had a COVID shot, who didn't, why did you take it, why didn't you take mm -hmm. it, or what color is your skin? If your skin color is different from mine, then you're a racist or I'm a victim. All of that is human. Those are human concerns and human issues. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. answered with the word of God. He said, I've decided to stick with love. Hate is too difficult a burden to bear. God is love. So people ask me, tell us something about Martin Luther King Jr. that we don't know. One of my favorite quotes of his, and it's not often quoted if it ever is, he said, and I'm paraphrasing, if the world were to fall apart today, I would still plant my apple tree. In other words, he was always prepared to serve, yeah. to help, to reach out. The Good Samaritan story mm -hmm. was one of his favorite sermons. And he did ask a question. He never said what would happen to the man who had been broken and beaten and robbed and thrown on the side yeah. of the street if I don't help him. Right. What will happen to me and if my I, soul if I don't, if I don't stop? Yeah. Alvita, thank you so much for your recollections on what would have been his 93rd birthday. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Thank you so much.